Hello and welcome to Team Atlantic channel. Today we're going to tell you about an unusual case of troubleshooting and repairing a faulty LED light fixture. If you want to get our new videos, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell. Also, if you have any questions on repair, write them in the comments below. It would be really interesting to discuss them with you. Today we are repairing three identical light fixtures and they all have the same fault. You can see that LEDs in the small section are flickering and the large section of the light fixture doesn't light up. We can assume that the driver is somewhat faulty, therefore one section flashes and perhaps the large section has faulty LEDs. Let's begin troubleshooting. By checking the section connections, we see that the sections in the light fixtures are connected in series. We disconnect all connections and check the driver and the LED sections separately. First we check the driver. We connect our advanced Actacom M1060 multimeter. There is a link about its capabilities in the description under the video. We connect power and save voltage of 58 volts at the driver output. Great, the driver is ok. We remember the driver parameters current 250 mA and voltage from 30 to 65 volts. We will need this information in further analysis of the circuit. We know that the sections are connected in series. Now we need to understand how the LEDs in these sections are connected. We use the M1060 multimeter to check the LED of a small section. In the previous video, the link is in the upper corner. We explained why, when checking an LED with the multimeter, it is easy to immediately determine the LED connection diagram of the strip. We connect the multimeter probes and see that two LEDs light up at the same time. That means that the LEDs are connected in pairs. The type of LEDs 5730 are determined from the inscription on the small panel and the LED dimensions are 5.7 by 3 mm. Let's calculate the operating voltage of a small section of 10 LEDs in pairs equal to 5 pairs. As indicated on our website, each white LED requires a little more than 3 volts for power. Thus, it turns out that the small section operates from 15 to 17 volts. Knowing the parameters for powering the section, we will connect our Octacom APS7306 laboratory power supply. It is controlled remotely from a computer, which is very convenient for our tests. In the previous video, the link is in the upper corner, we explain how this power Connection supply successful. can be used to check the LED strip. We connect the small section Voltage to the power supply, set 15 volts or a little more and connect the output to the Voltage small LED section and we see the small LED section is flickering. Output enabled. Now it is clear that the small LED section is broken. Now let's calculate the operating voltage of a large LED section. We don't know the number of LEDs in a large section, so we'll do the calculation differently. We will take the average driver voltage from 30 to 65 volts, which is 47.5 volts, and subtract the voltage of the small section which is 16.5 volts. This calculation is possible because the sections are connected in series. We get approximately 31 volts. Knowing the parameters for powering a large LED section, we will connect our Octacom APS7306 power supply and check the operation of Voltage. the large LED section. 31 volts. We supply 31 volts and we see the large LED Current. section lights up perfectly. Amperes. Thus, a large section of the LED section is Output perfectly enabled. fine. Current stabilization. Voltage 29.59 volts. Output disabled. As a result of our troubleshooting, we discovered an unforeseen cause of the failure. At the beginning of the work, we saw a large section of the LED didn't light up at all, and it seemed that the driver was not working properly. By the end, it turned out that the LED driver and the large LED section were fully operational, but the small LED section is to blame. All we have to do now is to reassemble the LED fixture by replacing the round board with a small LED section, 
and all three light fixtures are fully operational and can be installed back in place. Thank you for watching the video. We hope that our video about this unusual case and its troubleshooting was useful for you. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you need to repair your favorite light fixture, contact us, the link will be in the description, or visit our website. Bye-bye, see you later!